Hi, my name is Minda. I come from Inwin Stack as a data scientist. And it's a great opportunity uh, we can cooperate with ASUS. Today, we want to share our research experience for how to use the knowledge based model to improve the accuracy of the deep learning model. Here's a simple way to explain the model training process. We may call training life cycle. After we got the labeled data, we start to train the model, and when the model is accurate enough, and we will begin to use the model for inference. But when we use the model in clinical practice, the results will always affect to each other based on the data quality and the model behaviors. For the data quality, there's a few ways we may care about. One is the annotation quality, noise label, and always imbalanced data. Things always affect to uh, to the quality of training model. So sometimes we use the data to train a model, and after that we use the model to review the quality of the data. And how about the model training in clinical? What are the things that we care about? Normally in medical image, we train the data frame by frame. By that, I mean no matter the training model is classification or segmentation, we always check the result by single image for calculation. And how about in clinical? Let's say uh, when we take MRI image, it will contain some series and also have up to hundreds of DICOM files in each, which means we need to merge all the single results into one AI inference. So the difference uh, of the AI result in clinical is the single infer result is for a single patient. The things we care in clinical is what disease do you have and how serious is the disease. In more detail, we can consider the data analysis into two points of view. One is the micro view and the other one is the macro view. In micro view, we check the result one by one and focus on the performance of the type 1 and type 2 errors. In addition to accuracy, or we can say it's a type 1 error. The type 2 error is also important. That is because uh, it may increase the wastage of the medical resources. On the other hand, in macro view, we are more care about the result of the disease identification and the disease grading and also the pathology diagnosis. And all the things will, uh, can be trans transferred to sensitivity and sensitivity and PVV again. Here is the real clinical practice case, and we cooperate with the radiology department of Taipei Veterans General Hospital in Taiwan. And for the uh, primary brain tumor research, and we are developing the deep learning related methodology for the brain tumor identification, localizing, and the tumor grade judgment, and which have ability can separate for the brain tumor of meningioma, schwannoma, adenoma, and granoma. Before that, let's a little bit introduce our AI training server and our partner ASUS. ASUS has implemented several new technologies and design cross-platforms. No matter from general purpose servers to GPU servers, users trustly benefit from their designs from mechanical design, hardware design, and the firmware design. Balanced architecture is critical for users to have best fit configurations, not to mention PCIe Generation 4 and OCP 3.0 for ultra-high speed computing. On the other hand, ASUS is the first vendor to introduce a speed 2600 BNC chip for out-of-band management. The performance has improvement over 40% compared with last generation S speed 2500. And it also make management more powerful and useful along with AMI BNC firmware. Coping with attention on security, ASUS has also introduced hardware silicon rule of trust in all servers to be compliant with NIST standard. And here's a real example for the type 1 error. And in our case, after we start to verify the model performance in testing dataset, 
we found the sensitivity is not as good as our imagination due to some noises. And from the Daikon image on the right hand side, and you can see there's two types of error happened. In general speaking, we can say uh, there's only one tumor in this image, but there's three tumors to be found by AI model. And for the model point of view, maybe we can say uh, from the uh, data scientist point of view. And first thing, we, uh, maybe we, we may check the annotation quality for improvement, the ability of the R annotation. Um, sometimes uh, there's some mistake uh, happened during, uh, during the labeling by the doctors. And also maybe we will say, oh, maybe we can redesign our, our model for the better result. But uh, from the radiology specialist point of view, uh, they may say, uh, maybe we can check the, the, the position of the tumor in, in the brain. Or put in my word, maybe we can check uh, the tumor texture or types is it's, uh, it's correct or not, is it's, it's, it's a tumor or not. So from the radiology specialist point of view, this is uh, uh, the today's most important thing we want to share with you. And because of the, uh, when we add the, the methodology of the specialist point of view, and the noise will be easy to reduce by this kind of the methodology. Here's a real case uh, for the brain tumor gynoma. And we want to use this kind of case to uh, show how important the knowledge driven base it is. This kind of methodology uh, can be enhanced the quality of the model, and then the model is more trustful. In general, they will check the enhancement tumor on series T1C. And also they are interesting about uh, the, got a, a better view for the T2 for edema. So, which means uh, we, uh, the model must have ability can check the enhancement tumor on T1C and also can uh, check the edema on the T2. And the most interesting thing is uh, the model may have ability can check uh, the, the tumor directly on the T1. This is, uh, this is not an easy way, uh, maybe for the human, can find out the tumor uh, in the first time in the T1 image. So if we can combine the, the methodology of the knowledge driven base or, uh, and uh, also combine with the, the, the deep learning based uh, model together, and we can increase uh, the big performance of the, the tumor detection. Here's another case for the meningioma. And we want to use this case to explain how important if the model will have ability to integrate images from different series. As we know, sometimes it's very difficult to recognize the mini geoma on astral view. So we have to reference uh, from the different uh, planes, such as uh, the corner view or sagittal view in the same time. So that is very important if the model can check those three views in the same time. And also, uh, for our model, we will do some uh, color enhancement to help the model to recognize the meningioma in the same time. And next, we want to introduce our special platform and to take advantage of the platform to rise the development of the research efficiency. And here's the innovation way which we developed by ourselves for integrated models together for the better performance. And we call the module. The module design concept is to integrate the classification, segmentation models, and also rule-based algorithm from the specialist together. The goal of module architecture is to increase the comprehensive adjustment accuracy and also reduce the noise and which we mentioned before. The module architecture can easily allow the user to perform real-time model exchange and the combination, and also can add customized as per algorithms. With this architecture, we can quickly test a, a variety of the model to improve the accuracy of the model. So here's some uh, combination example for you. And here's another knowledge related experience we want to share with you. 
uh, general speaking, when we're doing a classification, and we only uh, we will always uh, divide the, the tumor into the tumor and the without tumor. But from the an expert's point of view, in fact, they may well have a edema near the tumor. So, which means we will have add another class for the near tumor. On this page, we show the analysis survey developed by Inwinstech. We can use tools to analyze the classification effort of brain tumors, or even observe a single case separately. In this analyzed case, we can clearly observe from the confusion matrix that the model classifies from normal as normal. And with the first analysis tools, we can more quickly clarify the behavior of the model and make the model adjustments based on the results. Compared with the analysis tools for classification, this is the tool for segmentation, and it can be allowed user quickly to know the accuracy of the ROI detection. And next, we will explain why the AI platform can accelerate our overall development. The GPU server and its development software can provide the user with various needs in all aspects. Its powerful multi-GPU architecture can allow multiple people to use it together. From training to model research, and to clinical verification and the actual landing interface. In terms of model training, the platform provides a simple operation and development interface to replace the complex Linux developer environment to reduce the difficulty of the AI development. And for the data and model analysis tools, it provides the user with convenient graphic statistic viewing tools and allows the researchers to easily understand the clinical effort of the model. The customized CDSS interface allows the user to easily deploy the trend model and quickly into the clinical verification. Exus provides hardware to cooperate with the Inwin stack for AI training and inferencing. No matter for Asus for GPU servers to a GPU servers, it provides Inwin stack complete solution for AI training and service to improvement medical efficiency and accuracy. Flexibility and scalability will be the key advantage on Asus GPU server. Users enjoy good performance from hardware architecture focused on AI training and inferencing, and also monitoring system status for BNC management software. Since 2017, Asus built a performance tuning squad to investigate how to maximize overall performance across server platforms. According to the result in Spec.org, Asus grabs over 926 worldwide number one records on Intel and AMD platforms, which shows their commitment in performance benchmark. Those technologies are not just for performance results. All the settings are available in Asus server BIOS setting. Users can utilize their setting all according to their own applications and workloads. Those acoustic technologies like Core Optimizer, Engine Boost, Optimized Performance Tuning are real helpful for the users. Users can choose whatever they want and enjoy Asus' efforts in performance adjustment. Thanks for listening today. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. And if you have any inquiry, please contact us. Thank you.